Peace, good evening. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of the Foul Playland. As always, I am Sir Foul Player of Brooklyn. Wanted to do this story regarding Fox News, and this is their official YouTube channel that which I, whose page I'm on at at just making of this video here at the TV from my living room. And I was just going to show that uh, the story which I reported on yesterday, I was seeing some funkiness. After I uploaded that video, actually before I even uploaded that video, there was problems with the Twitter links that I had wanted to show during the making of the video. They just stopped working. And I'm not saying one thing has anything to do with the other. But after I made that video or while I was making that video, I probably had at its peak like eight people watching it in addition to a few people that came in and out. But this morning when I looked at the views of that video, it was still like at 8 or 9 total. And now it's probably like at 15. or t And later on it was like 15 and stood at 15 for a while. And um, I think now it's probably like maybe 20 views. It's not, nothing crazy. But it's a little bit lower than what I normally get. I don't normally get that many. But going to Fox News, now again, if you guys don't know or don't live in this country, Fox News is the conservative wing of the media, or the supposed conservative wing of the media, the right wing of the media. It's the only right wing major media network available to Americans at this time. It's been that way for a while. But Fox News is owned by Rupert Murdoch, who Rupert Murdoch, I mean, is more non-conservative globalist than your most globalist politician you could think of and Rupert Murdoch works behind the scenes but Rupert Murdoch is providing you what's supposed to be the extreme right and you have a story like Carrie Lake being bribed yesterday it came out yesterday morning and Fox News on their uploads has only one video regarding it and we'll go through it together. This is the upload from two days ago. The story came out yesterday. So you'll see where it first comes up. It's like a two minute video and then they don't cover it again. But mind you, if you guys don't know, the story I reported yesterday was regarding the Arizona GOP chair offering Carrie Lake a bribe in a secret recording. You could hear his voice offering Carrie Lake the bribe. She says that she recorded that video in March of this past year and released it yesterday. Afterwards, he responded and said that it was grimy of her to record that video since they had been friends. But later on, Carrie Lake responded saying that not only does she have that video, but she has a second one. And if he doesn't resign from his position as the head of the Arizona GOP or the Arizona Republicans that um, she would release that second video. He then resp didn't respond to her, but let out a statement that he was resigning from his position at the Arizona GOP. So you already have a secret recording by two top officials within the Republican Party, one in which they're offering probably the second highest, I mean, the second most popular Republican in the country in Kerry Lake being offered a bribe you also have the intrigue of the conservatives looking bad, not re and this isn't being reported on the other networks much neither. I mean, like Fox is no different than CNN in this example in that their lack of reporting on the story. But Fox, I mean, uh, it has everything to do with con so-called conservatives on a network that's supposed to have everything to do with so-called conservatives, and they're not reporting the story either. So I think in terms of my own video that I uploaded, that had a number of viewers watching it live as I was doing it was is now being throttled by the platform that you're watching this video on now YouTube but also Fox Me uh, News Corporation is also reticent in reporting this even though it exposes what's being done to 45 who's the strongest conservative candidate you would think that Fox would be behind them and trumpeting a story that makes him look better or makes him look like a victim 
but Fox doesn't, none of that, in addition to the fact that they've reported very little on it. But I'm going to go down the line with you guys. I'll zoom in my camera and I'm going to make this video really short. But see, you have these stories with Nikki Haley, who's just running for the New Hampshire candidacy. Um, stories regarding the border. Stories with this guy that's supposedly trying to run against Biden. These are non-stories, basically. I'm pretty sure you're going to have some... Um, woke he she crap here like which again these stories at the end of the day don't really matter see so now we're going in yesterday's stories and you see no mention of carrie lake with any of this see why the liberal elite think that they're better than you these are these are just uh more divisive stories now not to say that the liberal elite don't think they're better than you but these are not the important stories as it pertains to this case that has such a, a level of intrigue, a level of importance. But, you know, again, China, uh, warning you about China, nothing crazy. There's nothing normal about this, says ex-prosecutor, that's uh, regarding Fannie Willis. People calling out obvious Biden failures. I mean, you could do these all day. Again, we're getting deeper into this and we're not seeing anything regarding Carrie Lake. No Carrie Lake. And I'll show you when Carrie Lake again pops up. Where her first story pops up. And you you can see the length of time of all these um, videos. They're all like four or five minutes plus. Um... The Carrie Lake story, I must have passed it, my apologies, but the Carrie Lake story is two minutes, and this was done yesterday. Hold on, did I pass it? Again, this was released yesterday, maybe I did pass, I mean, uh, maybe I didn't go deep enough. But every one of these uploads... Uh, and they are in sequential order, too, from latest release to uh, the earliest as I'm moving to my, I mean, uh, as I move to my left, the stories that I go in the direction in which I'm viewing these stories, uh, as I'm showing you, it's uh, earlier. See, so Carrie Lake story came out just six hours ago. So right now it's... Uh, Almost 8 p.m. here in uh, New Jersey, New York. This story came out uh, 2 this afternoon. And you guys can see it's uh, 2 hours and... I mean, 2 minutes and 41 seconds. The recording in itself is 11 minutes. And every bit of that recording has some salacious shit to it. I was riffing yesterday at the making of my video that the reports that were showing the recording of this video on Twitter and whatnot... We're only showing six minutes of the video. Now, Fox's only coverage of this story now, because look, we, we're at the six hour mark. I'm going to move left. to, And you guys went with me yesterday. I mean, uh, into the stories of yesterday and the day before. Nothing to do with Carrie Lake as we scroll on by. So this is the last story, the story regarding T Ted Cruz and the border from six, eight. 18 minutes ago, but again, all, anything to do with the Carrie Lake, with obvious corruption, because again, this is corruption within the Republican Party. I'm pretty sure that the people that offered Carrie Lake that bribe were either corporatists, probably liberals, who knows, uh, maybe um, swamp rhino Republicans, you know, they're all the same, uh, they're all the same party, they all hate Trump, the rhinos hate Trump. The liberals also, the unipartyists hate them, the globalists hate them. But when all these people within the media go after one person, then you should be listening to that one person. But just another sign of things that are happening now. I look at these things and... 
promisingly in the sense that hopefully people will notice what I'm noticing two years down the line. Like it takes people two years to catch up to what's happening now. But hopefully down the line when people do start seeing that the media isn't your friend, then the media gets deaded altogether. And you guys get your news from uh, YouTube and other sources that don't rely on these uh, swampy creatures that you have in um, D.C. in addition to these corporations that are funding our politics. But let me know what you guys think with that. I don't know if I'm going to make another video, but please like, subscribe, and help me out as much as you could. I'm getting uh, throttled by the algorithm, I believe. That's why I wanted to make this video, but, you know, we could fight the algorithm amongst ourselves. We're rebels in this, I guess. And uh, help me in my rebel ways. Let's take this ship down together. But if... The, which is the corporate media corporate media gotta go but with that i hope you guys have a wonderful evening like subscribe i'm out peace